Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out, we were building this route, the final freight route, um, which is doing some really odd... That's for some reason hasn't sat properly. But we had this final freight route that was running alongside the Great Lakes route all the way. So we built this entire route all the way and then we swung it off in this direction into this tunnel making this section even more convoluted than it currently is and then finally ending in Washington now that doesn't mean that we're done on this because I have noticed that we're going to have to connect this up somehow uh, more than likely this is all going to connect up onto the same route which is probably going to end up being four track for some of this section which is why that's not going to be a new route but today we need to finish this route off from here all the way into Toronto where our destination is so for the next 20-25 minutes that's what we are going to be doing stay tuned all right so the problem we had last time the problem we were thinking of and thank you for the comments that have been left uh, about this was how are we going to get it crossing this track and then after that the subsequent tracks here here and then the road here to get into this station now there was one really good comment asking me what if i hugged it all around the lake on this side now that's a good idea that is a good idea apart from one issue that is of my own doing and that is that this is not a through station and of course that's something that was then commented on after I replied to that comment saying oh yeah it's not a through station that's a problem well we'll certainly get round to fixing that but I have been thinking very very carefully about this and my solution is to cross it over about here that's where I think I should cross it over and then peel it off. So we're going to try and peel it off maybe around this, run it along here and then have it cross over here. And for that, we are going to be using the flying junction. After we cross it, we're going to run it alongside this road all the way so that's going to get it out of the way of all of this stuff run it alongside the road and then peel it out on a bridge up to here and then we'll loop it in that's the plan so the first thing we really should do is get this part of it done so let's go ahead and do that let's not waste any time and let's see what kind of road what kind of speeds we're looking at uh 41 miles per hour now i wonder if i could improve upon that by and also I think this this house is going to disappear I, I do I do think that's going to disappear unless there's a way for me to get up there nice and slowly and there really isn't that's a very very uh, that's a very big uphill climb so this sorry not house this industrial unit is going to disappear and this is going to go back to a highway as it should be because the AI really like changing things around there you go oh no wait not that one sorry that's one there we go okay great and also I'm going to do the same here oh, I don't want the AI building here this is stupid so it's it's going to be annoying trying to get the AI to stop what they're doing but there we go okay so now we can go ahead and make our track. And the idea is to do it. I was thinking to do this. There we go. So that's fast enough. Running alongside. And then we'll run this area alongside. Like so. But then if we can do enough of a turn. There we go. That allows us to keep some more speed than the 41 mile per hour corner. So having a 64 mile per hour corner, much better. There we have it. That will go along there. We can then run this through. We should be able to get the tunnel. So we'll run it just before the tunnel. And then we're going to tunnel in right next to this. So it's, going to, it's actually going to be a really scenic route, I think. And we'll double track that. So let, let's get that double track running. There we go. 
as the double track. I don't see us requiring any more than two tracks for this section. And then we need to work out how we're going to do the flying junction. Now the flying junction that we're going to do, I want it to be here. So, okay. This is going to be interesting. Uh, this is where it changes direction. There we go, that's where the direction change was. So our flying junction has to fit into this spot. Uh huh. So we go over here, there's the flying junction. It will fit actually very nicely into this spot. Although I don't understand how it fits. How is this supposed to work? Do I connect it up like that? And also, I think the radius needs to increase. There we go. Okay, let's try that. Let's pop that flying junction in. There's the flying junction. Hopefully all the tracks will connect. And then on the opposite side, it's a little bit lower, but I want to see, we're looking at a 65 mile per hour corner. And is that a significant uphill? I don't think so. I think that could, would, should, may, may not. That should work nicely. I think that's pretty good. Now what's up with this? 104. So what if I pulled these back? Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. And there we go. Suddenly we have our flying junction. That's ready to go. Um, also get rid of that tree. Is that the only tree that needs to go? Uh, yep, that's the only tree that needs to go. So we've got a brick wall, flying junction. You're annoying. There you go. Fix that. I think maybe I did the groupings wrong, which is why we've got this gap in the middle. I could have potentially got all four running. But that's our flying junction. Let's uh, smooth out whatever needs to be smoothed out. There we go. And we can smooth this on this side too. Oh, that's not kind of worked out how I wanted to. The track ballast is now below ground. Let's bring this part up then. We'll fix this. Or not. Uh, do I delete it and do it again? I could do it again. Wouldn't be a problem. It literally just slot into the same place. And then you see from there what we need to do is just to give you an idea is we, we pretty much want to run it up like that. There's the run for it. Obviously we'll be able to avoid the bridge if we follow the road a little bit further. So we've got that, and then on the opposite side, we go from from here, and we just essentially... No. 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 Come on. Well, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. I definitely know what I want it to do. Okay, so let's delete that again. And we will flatten all this out. There we go. We know it's going to go in this area. Okay, go back to that. Let's get this flying junction back in. Um, bricks or concrete? I guess we could use concrete as well. Which would be that one. And you're making a concrete junction. That could work. Now, what, what's about the radii or the radius of the upper track? We could make a... What's this? Upper track's length. 
That's not changing anything, is it? Transition A. Lower. What does that mean? Both upper and lower. What's this? Both. Okay. Lower. Oh, right. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, we're going to leave that as... Uh, oh, we could do none. That gives us a ridiculously short section. Which is kind of even better. That's going to help us even more. But uh, if we just do both, give us a nice long section. That will fit in quite easily. Now, if I were to go radius of the upper track is... Uh, let's say a thousand. That should. It doesn't quite. I was going to say that should allow us to swing in a little bit. I don't think it's going to let us. No. Okay. It looks like infinite is the one that it wants. Is there anything else we can do? Bridge. I don't know what that's going to do. Bridge, Terra, Solid, Form, Terra. Uh-huh. Terra, that's good. Axis, I have no idea. Tunnel height. Hello. Is that going to make it higher up for us? I think it does. It does make it higher up for us. Okay, that's good. We can, we can make use of that. That's going to help us. So let's do that. So we're going to go to the tunnel height. And we're going to pop that in as high as we possibly can. Uh-huh. That's going to need more of a, a turn, though, now. Radius of the lower track, 667. Kind of a smidge too much. 800, though, is too little. Unless we pull this back a little bit once again. And we're not looking at doing it there. We're looking at making a sort of a... There we go. It's going to be a slow corner. And that's going to also cut in quite significantly, isn't it? Okay. No, we're not going to do that. Let's let's swing one of these tracks to where we need it. So we are saying there. That's where we want it. Uh-huh. Then we can stick just a single track on. There we go. Pop that in. That's nice and high. That's good. Uh, the, this corner, though. This corner is... Right. Well, there's nothing there. I don't see any issue in us doing what we're about to do. Nope. That's pretty good. Because these two weren't connected anyway. Oh, what? There we go. That's pretty good. In fact, it looks better with concrete. Uh, although I prefer bricks, it does look better with the concrete, at least in this area. And like that, and like that. That's pretty good. 90 miles an hour approximately. And we can now... See, now what we do is now we just run this down like that. And then around. But first, let's connect this up to the other side. Let's see what the connection's like now. Okay, that's what the connection wants. But, like I said, we can run it. No, we want to run it alongside the road. I want to run it alongside the road. There you go. What? That's not alongside the road. Oh, oh, okay. I understand. Uh, because the road dips down a lot more than this does. So we need... Alright, we need a smoother embankment on this. Alright, we're not going to get a smooth embankment on this. 
we are going to get a smooth embankment on this. I'm going to see to it. There we go. Okay. Is that going to be smooth? That's still not going to be smooth. Okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Maybe, this is it, we'll do a section of track here. This is because this is where it's going to peel off. So we'll do a section of track here, which is going uphill. Like so. And then we just connect it directly to that. There we go. Now we're getting a much smoother embankment. But to help it, also, we get rid of this section and then connect it. And that may give us the entire smooth embankment we want. No. No, it doesn't. Why not? Okay, let's run this one. There's something wrong in this area. And this isn't the first time I've come across issues like this. Right, let's clean that up all over again. There we go, and try again. Now it wants a bridge. Right. What about that? How does that look? That's that's what I want. Tell me you can do that. No, it still has the same issue. I don't understand what this issue is. And you know what? Let's do this instead then. We're going to put the railway in first. Bit of road works. Railway goes in first. There we go. Now the road can go in again. Okay. Where's the road? That one? There you go. That's better. Although now we've got this little bit of a bump. Where'd this bump come from? Uh, that's better. Okay, now we can smooth it out. Uh, smooth that. We'll probably line this area with trees. That actually looks kind of good. Having a little bit of a, a lip up there. It's almost like there's a walkway or something. Alright, and then from here we connect it to this. And that part is a piece of cake. That part was an absolute piece of cake, and that's exactly what I was hoping for all the way through, but unfortunately we didn't get that. So now I can just bring this area up. There we go. Now knowing knowing the residents of Buffalo, somebody is going to try and make a house right there. And that's going to be annoying. And then lastly, we need to somehow manage to connect it up to this. So let's see how this is going to pan out. So we want that to somehow connect which is it doesn't want to why and why doesn't it want to and how do we make it do what we want it to do i think lowering it down like this is a good first step where's the contours let me see the contour lines there we go okay so we've got a contour line there if we could swing it around these this area no that's not good we need it around this area and then cutting through there, no. Around here, no. Okay. Let's start with this. 80 miles per hour, downhill slope. We'll start with that. There you go. 
Okay, now let's see what happens. Now it wants to do it. Now it definitely wants to do it. And that is... I mean, that's a really big tunnel. That's a way bigger tunnel than I wanted. Ideally, it's a... Uh, that's way, way bigger than I want. So we are, but we are going to try something. So we're going to peel it off in this direction. Yep. Like so. Have something like, and then, hold on, now let's see. Now let's see what the connection's like. There you go, now it does want to tunnel. And that tunnel's okay by me. That's a good tunnel. But I think we can improve on this a little bit more. If we do this, continue it going downhill, and now connect it. What's our speed? 60 miles per hour, no tunnel. Okay, take this back. Sixty miles per hour again going into a tunnel. Sixty miles per hour long tunnel. But I think that tunnel will actually work for us. So that is what I'm going to take. There we go. And now we can connect it up all the way. Like so. Right the way up to that. Perfect smooth this out and bring us very nicely to the end of this episode thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have please remember to hit the like button to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on transport fever series 2 the great lakes and then series 3 the great western railway uh, do leave comments in the comments box below letting me know what you think i think that does look pretty good I'm just trying to work out where where a really good image opportunity is. Um, I don't know. Probably right about there. That's going to be pretty good. If you want to support me on Patreon, please go to www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively appreciated and it would help me out a huge, huge amount. In the next video, we're going to finish up this line and then hopefully get some trains running on it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, also, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ecgadget. That is if you're not watching this particular video on Twitch. Anyway, that's all from me and I'll see you guys next time in Transport Fever, Series 2, The Great Lakes.